Hello and welcome back. In this video, we're going to be looking at the next step, which is getting the trading post. In order to do this, we need to get four flint. So we're just going to go ahead with our upgraded tools. We're going to hit these stones. So it doesn't take too long to do this. We only need two. And now we've upgraded our tools, it's a lot easier as well. So now we can go back. So we need to have uh, in our resources, we need four flint. We can see we only have two at the moment. So we're going to go across to our crafting here. We're going to craft the additional two flint. And we're going to go to our table. And we're going to research the world piece. Now we're going to place this. We can decide where we want to place it. We can go pretty much anywhere. It's not a problem. We're going to put it just here. So for now. This is going to go here. So this is a really good opportunity as well to talk to you about what if you make a mistake? What if you put a bit of land down and you realize you've put it down by mistake? Like you didn't want to put it there. Well, that's okay. We can actually fix that. It's quite easy to do. And the way that we would fix that, what we would actually do is we'd have to remove edit the world. To do this, we need two ink. So to get two ink uh, is quite simple. What you would do is you would rustle the pine trees to get two feathers, uh, which normally would take three. So there's once you've got one, just go to another tree. There's no point staying there. Uh, but we search again. And there we go. We have our two feathers. We also need to get these huckleberries. So we're going to search these. So we need four. So we get three. And then we can knock it uh, down to get an additional two. So we just need two bushes and two trees. Takes a little bit of time. But that is everything we need to then come back to our table. Okay, we'll go to our workbench. And now we can craft our two ink. Now that we've done that, we can go back to our map, press our edit world, and we can remove the piece that we put down by mistake. Uh, in this instance, we're going to remove this planes. Okay, but now we have nowhere to get to this plane. So how do we do that? Well, we're just going to put a new piece down. What we're going to do is we're going to put down this piece. We're going to rotate it so it looks like this. The reason we're going to do this is now... When we move later, we now have this, which is a uh, plains peri, uh, uh, priory, sorry. We have the same here. So the next piece that we need to put down, the priory we can put right here. It means we don't have to move as far. So just something to consider as you're, you're doing things. Right, so right now, we can't do anything else at the moment. We're quite fatigued. We're going to go to sleep so that it's daytime. Because we need the trading post to be open, and it is only open during the day. Alright, so let's just drink some water. Great. And also we need to eat, so we're going to have some food as well. Great. Okay, let's go on our mission. We're going to run across here. Go to the trading post. And now we're going to use the crates. We're going to get the oil lanterns. We're going to get uh, the other bits here. This barrel as well. Get that book this tin there's another crate with a coin another one there another oil lantern great loads and loads of stuff loads of good stuff here go around the back nothing else to do great so now we're going to go inside and whilst inside we will be able to talk to, talk to the clerk hmm. okay ask questions hand over the package because that's the first thing we need to do don't know who it's from. It's fine. Ask about news about the region. So ask about any mail that might have been received. Tell him our name. Great. Then we need to inspect this poster. Okay. And now we can actually find the fisherman. But now we can talk to the clerk again. Hmm. And now when we come back, we can browse goods. Browsing goods allows us to buy and sell. So some of the things that we can buy... We could actually buy a coffee recipe, but it's going to cost 90. Uh, this is the recipe for brewing coffee. 
we can actually make coffee as well. We don't need to buy this. We can make it ourselves. And we can also buy ink. So we don't need to go and get ink anymore. We can just buy it from here, which is a lot better. Um, but this at this point, we need to look at, well, what do we want to sell? Well, we need the books for the recipe. But once we've got the recipe, we no, le long, long, no longer need that. So we can actually start to sell some of these. We only need to keep a couple. So we'll just keep a couple. Oil lanterns, we're not going to use those, so we can just sell them. We will keep the common key. We only need to keep one. We will keep the rare key. That's good. Skull, we can sell. And the tin cans, we can sell all of them. We don't need those. Um, the equipment, we talked about selling before, so we can sell our primitive axe and our primitive pickaxe. We don't need those anymore. Uh, we can't sell our robe. We have to keep that. And everything else we need. You could possibly sell the lumberjack axe if you're not going to use it. Um, but it is something that gives you 10% critical damage. So you might want to use it. Your melee damage from an enhanced axe is 15. So your melee damage is more. But the lumberjack axe does have a 10% critical damage chance. So you might want to keep it up to you. I don't personally use it. You might want to. Um, totally up to you. In terms of consumables, uh, I'm going to sell the honey because there's not going to really use much honey anymore. Uh, so I can get rid of that. I'm going to keep everything else that I've got here. And that's it at the moment. Uh, also, I'm not going to use any more antlers at the moment. So I can get rid of my antlers as well. Uh, and everything else here I'm going to use. So I'm going to keep. But it has given me 120 gold. So I can now go ahead and buy um, the ink that I need for my recipe book. If you remember, I needed some ink. So I'm going to go ahead and buy that. All right. And that's everything that we need to do from the trading post. So now we're going to go and find the fisherman. So in order to find the fisherman, we need to go back to the table. And this means we need four plant fibers. Nice and easy to be able to get this. And just chop down this and this. Perfect. And now we can place our fisherman's hut. Now something you're going to notice here is you've got also the pine forest to the lake with a dock. We're going to need that, so we have to get some stone. So let's just go ahead and quickly grab the stone that we need. Should get that from one rock. Perfect. And then let's go back and get this as well so we can do both at the same time. So this is important. We need this. Only other thing we can research now is this one, which needs free flint which is the uh, Priory to the Plains. So this is the last one for us to make. In fact, whilst we are here, let's just finish it off because then that's, that's everything done. Okay. I didn't really get much from that one, unfortunately. So we're going to just take one more rock from here. Perfect. And we got some flint as well. Oh, we didn't pick the flint up. It's just there. Okay. So, if we go back here now and check this. We've got enough to do this. So, that's everything that we need here. This one's important. And we actually need uh, two. We only have one at the moment. So, we could put down this land. But you have to notice where it's going to go. See, we can put it here. But then we need to make sure we have a matching piece. Okay, one of the challenges at the moment is making sure that we have a matching piece. And we haven't had that at this stage. So, if we are going to put this down, we need to make sure what goes next. So, let's have a quick look. Let's come back here. Because the next piece we're going to put down is this one. And this one requires a forest on either side. And we can't actually do this at the moment because of this piece of land that we have here. So, what we need to do is we actually need to remove, we need to edit this piece and remove it. Because this piece is wrong. Okay, so now we can make our new world. So this one can go here like this. Facing upwards. We can't get to it yet. So what we need to do now is we need to just go and either chop down some trees or, um, you know, just do anything that's going to increase our scouting. Because uh, at the moment, all we need to do... Is scout new world, new land. So, always helpful to have some wood. So, we're just going to grab this. 
I will also do the bush here as well. Shouldn't take too long. And hopefully pick this up and that should be enough. Oh, not quite. We'll grab this as well. That's enough for us. Right, perfect. So now we can grab this dock, uh, which we can rotate, and that can go here like so. So now we've got this. But we don't want to walk all the way around to it, so we're just going to go ahead and get one more. Because of that piece that we put down wrong before, we need to replace it. So we grab these two trees. Great. I'm going to go ahead and grab this now, so... Chop this down as well. Very, very close to getting the next one. Grab this. Just grab some random things. Very close. Cotton always comes in handy. Great, there we go. So now we want to put down this piece here. Because if we rotate this, it fits perfectly here. So there we go. Now we have our space. Okay. So now that we've done that, uh, we're going to just have to get some water. Uh, to recap, what we've done so far is uncovered all of this land. Uh, in the tannery, we've managed to do everything that we needed to do here. And now we can go to the fishing hut. But before we do that, I just want to upgrade the workbench. Because remember we got our tin ore from the water. Well, that was what we needed to upgrade our workbench. So we're going to upgrade to level 3. Okay, so now that we have our level 3 workbench... We can now get a furnace. We can also get an anvil. And that is all that we need. Nothing else here matters. So this requires five rocks. And this requires three tin. So let's go ahead and get one more rock on our journey right now. Let's get our furnace. Okay, so we're going to go back to our workbench. Now we're going to build our furnace. Uh, we're going to place the furnace down. We'll do that just over here to the side. And we need a lumber to be able to put that in here. So we're going to light this for a lumber. And we're going to go into our furnace. And we can now put in our tin ingot. So if we press and hold this. We're going to get out. Here we go. We're going to get out our tin ore. So that is one. That is two. Okay, we're now a bit exhausted, so we're just going to go and light a fire. Perfect. Okay, so whilst we're just waiting for our fatigue levels to uh, go up, we're going to look in the workbench. Okay, so now what we need is one more tin ingot to be able to do the anvil. So in order to do that, we need to go back down to the water. It has been a couple of days since we've been there. So the good news is the tin should have, hopefully, respawned. And it has. So there's some tin. We're going to take out the tin. And this is why it's very good to have two of these. Remember, tin only spawns on the edge of the river, on the edge of the lake. So there's one here as well. So having two of these is very handy. You could eventually make a third one as well if you wanted to around the other side so you can run around the lake. I'm not going to bother right now. This is plenty for me. I just need these two. And sometimes, sometimes you may get one appear over this side as well. There is one here. It doesn't always appear here. Um, but just before we go and do the the rest of our tasks, which we're very close to finishing. We're just going to head back here. And we're going to finish off this. We're going to light this. And we're going to put in our tin ore. Great. Now we can get our anvil. So we need to go across to our workbench. Click on our level 3. And now we can craft an anvil. Now we can get a shovel. 
We'll put our anvil down. We'll just chuck that down uh, for now. We'll put that down here. And it's also worth mentioning now, if we look at our handcrafted items, uh, we currently have, I believe we're using, I believe we're already using the enhanced axe. Yes, we are. So we've got everything we need there. So if I click on the anvil now, I can now make a tin axe on the anvil. So we've done everything we can do from our handcrafted. And now we can go over to the anvil. So now we can make a tin axe, a tin pickaxe, and a shovel. We'll do that in another video. But you can see we need the tin for that, leather straps. Um, and that's going to take a bit of time. So we'll do that in another video. For now, we're going to go and return to Stark. Tell him what we've done. Uh, knowing that we're going to need this later uh, as we're running through here. There we go. We're just going to take him out. Always good to get hold of those hides because we're going to need them. We know we can sell the antlers later and we've got the more raw meat. So all good. As we're running through here anyway, it just makes a lot of sense to do that. Okay, let's go inside and tell him that we've delivered his hmm. parcel. So yes, we've done that. That's been done. T says thank you. And now if we come outside, we have access to this. We can pick this up. It is a saw blade. And we're not going to use the saw blade just yet, but it's good to have it because later that will make our sawmill. We're just going to head back over to the uh, watering hole. Oh, interesting how that just missed. Really? Wow. Okay. I've got no ammunition left, so I need to make some more. Don't worry if you're not a very good shot or you struggle. Just run up to one of them. Remember, he will run for a minute. Um, but when he runs, he'll stop. And as soon as he stops, it gives you a few seconds where you can hit him. Okay. So now that we've got the saw blade, we're going to head over to the fisherman's village. We're going to take this tin ingot, the, the tin ore. And we're going to head over here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to head inside. And we're going to search this. Grab the book. Open this. Grab the flint. And then we're going to talk to Mr. Hmm. Crude. Okay, so he's Mr. Crude. He's going to teach us how to fish. So now we know how to fish. Tell him we have a rod because we built it already. Great. So the catch some blue grills. The more you catch, the better I'll trade them for you. Ask about the region. Perfect. Ask where you can find fish. He'll tell you and say goodbye. All right, so now we're going to go and fish. So, catch of the day. We need at least one bluegill. All right, so now we're going to grab our fishing rod, which we're going to put into spot six. And now, because we've got our fishing rod active, we can fish. So, we just fish by holding down R. It's called a catfish. We can normally fish three times. And if the stars are coming out of a circle, you normally get better fish. We actually got scrap parts that time, which is unfortunate. And we got our bluegill. Now, we could stop there. We absolutely could. Or we can continue. Try and get some more bluegill. Remember, the more we take to him, the better he's going to give us in return. So let's see if we can get another one. It's another catfish. And this is a good thing to do as well because the, the fish are a really, really good source of not only uh, food, but also you'll find that the fish give you health so you get health as well as hunger so always good to have the fish in fact i prefer the fish over the meat got a bass there and a trout all right keep going
Another trout. Are we going to be lucky and get another bluegill? I don't think we are. Nope. We got a lot of fish, but we did not get another bluegill. But that's fine. We're going to head back now. We're going to tell him that we've done what he asked us to do. So, show him your fishing rod. Oh, no. We've done that already. Here we go. We've got to give him a bass for that. There we go. So, now if we click on him again, we can browse goods. And now, we are able to buy from him. We can buy some rope. We can buy some fish. Um, we don't need to buy anything else because we have that. Um, but we can also sell to him as well. So if we have anything here that we don't want, uh, we can actually sell that. At the moment, we actually want everything. There's nothing we don't want here, so we're not going to sell anything. Uh, hmm. I guess I guess we could if we wanted to sell the hard antlers here, because we're going to make a little bit from those. But everything else right now we want, so we're going to keep that. Uh, we have a bit of water. We have four water, but we are just going to grab one more. But we're going to grab two more and we're going to head back we're going to cook all of our fish and as well as that we're going to uh, recover okay so let's just look at what we have next so now we have the pine forest lake and we have the uh, the other one here as well so here we go So now we need three rocks and two plant fibers to open up the next part. Okay, let's just light this branch. And let's cook. So you'll see that we can't see our fish at the moment. They don't show up. And the reason for that is to, before you can cook the fish, you actually need to gut the fish. And we can also do bones as well. So if we get three bones, we can get fertilizer. We're going to go ahead and do that. So what we need to do is go into our inventory, find all of our fish. We need to press F to gut the fish. And by doing that, we're going to get fish meat. So we had loads of fish. We're going to grab all of these. We're going to get some fish oil. As well as some other bits. Great. Now we can cook the fish. So if we, if we do one fish, this is going to give us a fish, a grilled fish. If we do three... And this is going to give us a grilled fish skewer, which gives us plus 50 hunger and plus 35 health. So spend a little bit of time fishing, get a load of these, because it's beneficial to always have water. And it's also beneficial to also have fish. So now we've got everything we need. I can go ahead and I can eat some fish. I can drink some water and I'm full health. And that's it. That's everything that I need uh, in this video. We've just covered. We've been to the trading post. Uh, we've managed to go back to Stark. We've got the sawmill. We've also managed to go and fish uh, and, and achieve that. So join us in the next video when we take the next step.